All right, so now here in part two, we're going to obviously break down our comping, but we're going to be focus, uh, focusing on group comping. All right, now, how is group comping different than solo piano? Well, it really depends on what kind of group you're playing with, all right? The first example that we're going to cover is bass line with chords. Now, um, I'll get into when you'd use it and whatnot. Let me, let me just start by playing it so you can hear what it is I'm talking about. I'm going to break it down. This is going to be a long chapter, just so you know, and it will get broken up, but the MIDI file will be one long chapter, all right? So, anyway, here we go. Uh, if you see me looking over here, I've got to print off the music, so I'm just going to read it off of... Uh, off the screen here. All right, here we go. Uh, and then what I'm using is Autumn Leaves. All right, I'm using the first eight measures of Autumn Leaves in the key of G minor, not E minor. Most musicians on the gig play it in G minor rather than E minor. Okay, it's written in E minor in a real book. Anyway, here you go. Uh, you have it here. All right, one, two, one, two, three. <sighs> all right, let me do that again for you. Here we go. So you can hear uh, a lot of like, like the bass really digging in. You can hear a lot of motion with the chords. And like I said, we're going to uh, focus on this example for a while. Now, before I start breaking it down, let's talk about, well, when would you use this type of comping? Um, this is probably one of the most versatile um, uh, comping accompaniment uh, techniques that you will ever learn and, and have in your arsenal. Let me tell you why. First of all, you can hear that you could use this um, for solo piano. The autumn leaves right by my window. So if I wanted to sing along with it, I could do that. Obviously, again, I'm not a singer. But if I just boo do da 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 do da 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 do da da do da da Anyway, you can get the point, all right? I could sing along with this while playing the bass line and the chords. Obviously, I can sing along with it, all right? Or you could sing along with it while you play, or you could be accompanying somebody else who's singing it, okay? So obviously, any just to make sure we're clear with that, anytime, anything that you could sing, anyone else could be singing it as well. So if you get into a situation in which somebody else is singing, you know, just do the same thing you would do if you were accompanying yourself while singing. Okay, so uh, same thing with instrumental.